In this episode, we are exploring the abandoned Richmond Town Square Mall, once located in Richmond Heights, Ohio. This 57-year-old mall has been permanently closed since 2021 after the COVID-19 pandemic dealt the final blow to the already struggling former retail giant that had seen both of its major retail anchors, Macy's and Sears, close in 2015 and 2017. Demolition was originally set to begin March 2023, but the process was delayed until September 2023. After demolition is completed, construction can begin on what has been named the Bell Oaks Marketplace, a $300 million project. The mixed-use project will include about 800 luxury apartments, retail, amenities, and more, including a nearly 160,000 square foot Myers store. Now let's get started and go back in time as we explore the Richmond Town Square Mall before it was gone forever. What's up guys, today we're exploring this huge abandoned mall. It's pretty scary, but we're here with... Brett. And... Riley. And their Instagrams are... Lightfoot Brett. America and Decay. So make sure you check their stuff out because we're gonna have a blast in here. So yeah, let's get right into it. Wow. Now this is a nice cafeteria. Hearing lots of little bangs and stuff like that. Now we are here at the end days of this place. They have plans to demolish the whole thing, unfortunately. So many malls in America just keep going down. You can hear a lot of the Mall settling and pipes. This is creepy. Hearing a good amount of bangs though, as you guys can hear, so we'll see what that's about because that's a little loud. Oh, yeah, it says March to July. 2023 Demo Logistics Demo Mall and I guess this is showing like how they do it and what order and stuff so yeah I guess it definitely was supposed to have started huh I mean they have I guess they did yeah partial taking stuff out that must be the first steps of it that they spend the time taking it out. I know, right? They're going to destroy it anyway. They're they might as well just... They're just going to put it in a dumpster. <laughs> exactly. It's all going to be rubble in the end. Yeah. Cool.
think this place is just a one-story mall. But the skylights are freaking awesome. It's really lighting the place up. You don't need power or anything. Yeah, that part looked really cool. I like that part. Yeah, the other ones probably smell bad with all the flooding. This mall is in pretty dang good condition. I mean, yeah, it feels, oops, apocalyptic. Now, as you can see, there's all sorts of random junk just like littered all over the floor. But for the most part, it's pretty clean. I wonder what these check marks are. Oh, there was keys. <laughs> I thought that was going to be somebody's voice, it was too funny. This is what was a foot locker. I like the carpet. There's the front desk where you make your order, pay for your order, shoes and whatnot. This radio display, the sneakers in the window. It's a pretty big store. Never seen a foot locker with this sort of carpet. And where we just came from was the food court. That's so cool. Yeah, I wonder what these check marks are. There's a check mark on each store. Like they checked it off and been like, oh, yep, this one's done. This is good. So I don't know what that's for, but if you guys have an idea, let us know. But I'm assuming it's a pre-demolition thing. Now that was definitely an Auntie Anne's. For sure. Yeah. All we need is some liminal music. Let's see. It's like customized shirts and stuff. Create a coat. This is cool. Yeah. And this is just one corner of the mall. I think it keeps going both ways. Yeah, there's, this is big. Yeah, let's walk this way while they go look at a in there and we'll meet them in the middle right over here let's take a look at how it looks i don't know how long the mall is sure did covid was the end of it all that looks like some kind of jewelry store Wow. Yeah, this place is big. Very big for a one-story mall. Rainbow. A dead pigeon? Oh, you're right. He's like right over here. Oh, He's a big pigeon, too. So just died. It's not really decayed or anything. Like that. Oh no! What do you guys think? That way? That way it is. Yeah, 
maybe the movie theater is this way. So guys, at one point, yeah, like we were saying before, there's a movie theater here. It has a really cool lobby. It's gonna be really cool to see. Let's see all the familiar stores that went under here. We all know Rainbow. You ever went to Rainbow? Um, yeah, I have. It's kind of like Joyce Leslie. Good prices. Not like crazy good quality clothes, but. Jimmy Jazz. Jimmy Jazz. A sneaker store. Look at all that. Look at this air bubble right here. The whole floor is like rise. There's the counter. And the wall. This is cool. I can't believe we're in this place. Team North. I don't know what this store would have been, but there's some like underwear right here. So maybe that had something to do with it, of course. There's a bunch of stores in here. Diamond Men's Store. I guess all men's jewelry. Looks like kids be smashing out the, the glass here on like this little vendor thing. I don't know what that was. Yeah, look at this. So much class. Kids Foot Locker. Let's see what this little poster says. Here's the footsteps, I said footsteps, footprints of um, basketball players. So he's a size 12, I'm a size 12. Oh, this is huge. Yeah. And you got Kevin Garnett. He just keeps going. It's pretty cool. Vitamin Candy Cafe. Now, we'll find out all the details on the mall because I don't know any offhand right now. You probably already said it in the intro. We'll take a look after the fact and get all that information for you guys. Looks like a brow place. Another jewelry store. Oh, and a pay less. What do they sell here? I oh, like healthy food wraps, salads. That is bad. Wow. Look how much water. This place has a lot of decay in such a little amount of time. I've been to a finish line a few times. See like this social distance with little stickers here six feet apart. This is crazy. Again, I can't believe we're in this place. This is so cool. I'm gonna walk through this wetness here. What's this? Sprinkler head things. I thought there were going to be keys for a second. Now, 
I miss Payless. That's weird that there's a chandelier just like casually hanging in the middle like that. Somebody must have put that there. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Let's see what we can find in here. Pretty empty. Look, they were, they were selling the stuff. Obviously, no one bought this, but it was going for $125. Everything was priced. This little glass display thing was at $50. This is cool. And across from here is a jewelry store. Looks pretty empty. So we're gonna bypass that one. Now, I don't know how many wings this place got, but it seems like there's a lot. This is Nail City. Nail Salon, I'm assuming. It's weird, they like blocked off the Planet Fitness for whatever reason. And in there, there's a COVID-19 sign. And I can see in the distance, it says jewelry. There's a lot of jewelry stores. But yeah, this is the COVID-19 stuff. So, like I said, we'll get the date for you exactly when this closed, but clearly, it's only been since COVID, so. Very dark over in this side, huh? What the hell? You can see a lot of mold in there. This is creepy. Okay. Let's take a peek in there real quick. Pretty flooded. They got no uh, skylight thingies. But there is still power. You can see in the distance there's an exit light that's on. So, to an extent, they still got power. I don't know where Zach is. <laughs> He's loving them all. Doing his own thing. I guess that was just an exit, huh? Over there. Kind of just doesn't go anywhere down there. I am so curious about this escalator. Yeah. Oh, I want to see it. I wonder if this is a Macy's, a Bloomingdale's, a and Taylor. Oh my god. Poop world. Something. Cool. Cash register still here. I've always wanted a picture of escalators in a department store. Really weird thing to want, but today's the day. Now it gets real dark. So I'm going to break out my I light. Definitely a back rooms vibe here. Oh, yeah. Love it. Oh, there he is. Gotta try to figure out which store this was. There's the escalators. They didn't take everything out. Looks like a mural on the wall over there of some sort. Gona.
What is that? Like a road? Yeah, it's like a road or whatever. But damn, yeah, this place is big. Trip on, the on his bike, he's out having a good time. I love malls. I think we're gonna go up the escalator and see what nice. what's up there. What is this, a JC Penney's? <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering that. I was just saying, I don't know if it's Macy's or whatever the hell. Yeah. Yeah. Random. So we are not out west. <laughs> They're trying to give that western vibe. Yeah. And there's a down escalator? So wait, it goes into a basement? There two? Down escalator? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, it was just down for upstairs. Okay, let's go up the wrong side. Yeah. Let's see. This one doesn't seem as sketchy. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, we're good. It's not sensory free sketchy. Yeah, it's not moving. room pretty much. Big darkness. Wow. There's not one thing anywhere that says what this was. I mean we'll probably be able to tell from the outside because it'll probably still like say it like somewhere like on the, the wall. Oh awesome. Okay. She figured it out. <laughs> JC Penny. No, it looks like that. All the JC pennies are going down. Now, are those lights on? It looks kind of like. Or just. Yeah, you're right. Just kind of like. Oh, yeah, creepy. I <laughs> know, right? I like it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. Now that we figured it out, I guess we can go back down because it looks like we won't find much in here. Just an empty room, pretty much. Oh, let's head back down that escalator. Just uh, walked up to this perfume world on the way back toward the center. And it looks like they moved to a nearby mall and left a uh, sheet explaining that. They must have gotten kicked out, who knows. All right. So now let's head back Keep hearing that? I hear that too. Huh. Kids foot locker. I'm guessing these checks on the wall are like letting them know like it's been cleared out. That's what I was thinking. I was looking at them earlier. It must be. What is that? 
Easter Fiesta? Huh. Oh yeah, definitely a Victoria's Secret. The pink. The local janitor. You know? <laughs> that was a joke, guys. He's not really one. <laughs> Gotta love the Victoria's Secret. Now, we've been in a few abandoned malls and they all look the same. The Victoria's Secrets are so cool. And pink. Look at this. There's mirrors all over. This is so cool. I love the echoes. Wonder what this was. So there is an escalator, so that might be going up to the movie part. I'm not really sure, but probably. Nice centerpiece thing here. There's, <laughs> There's another one right here. Oh. Zales. This location is closed. Again, they moved to the same mall. This Beechwood one. Uh, what would have this been? Can't really tell. Again, if you can identify this place, let us know. A lot of mirrors. There's a sink right here. Oh, Bed Bath & Beyond. I could just smell it. I hate these stores. My girlfriend likes coming here all the time. I don't like the smell. It's pretty cool. On to the next one. Um, oh yeah, hand sanitizer thing. They probably had this for COVID. Now it's in pieces. Again, another jewelry store. That's weird, man. How much jewelry could one wall need? All the letters have been taken off. They're actually up on here. Watches? Watch dealer? What is this? Fan for life? Is this like a sportswear store? I see the new era thing. I was in that. Maybe it was like a sports thing. But yeah, I never heard of this store.
Now look at this creepy hallway. Probably leads to the back rooms. Not going back there yet. Let's see what's in this store. Got some footprints. A lot of footprints. A few different type of sneakers. This one kind of looks barefooted. Guess not, but that's weird. They're just leading into here. And there's some more on that side. There's a bunch of footsteps, but they're also like turning this way, leading into there. Like I said, though, one of them looked barefooted. This one, you can see like the toe, the big toe, and you can see like the toe shape. Oh, like this where like the little arches. And now, of course, I'm adding footprints. That's strange. I love the buzzing. There's no booths in the middle here. dollar store it was a close out sale huh up in here it still has like the the things saying what they were selling Water bottles, sewing items, general, blah, 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 blah. 99 cent store had it all. It's random keychains and gum. that was. This store was called Exit, which is kind of weird. I never heard of that store either. I like the color of the floor. gear. Now, how do you guys feel about malls going down like this? You know, you agree with it? Do you like think malls are like, you know, a thing from the past that shouldn't be around anymore? Drop it down in the comments because a lot of people have different views on malls nowadays. I like them. I wish they were still up kept, you know. Still popular and stuff. This is cool. I don't know what this would have been though. Probably like a fashion store or something. Okay, let's get back out here. A lot more smash glass. Hayes Beauty, All About Wig by Kay's Beauty. You say on both stores, one on each side. I 
I love the buzzing. Look how smashed up this place got. Wow, yeah, really smashed up. Look how much glass. Right on the, the walls, we still have like all the, the wig things and pictures of different people on it. Like all the way down here, you can see. That's pretty cool to see. Somebody had a party in here smashing shit. Buzzing sounds so cool. This place is dark. Creepy. Look at all the damage in here. Some stores are more damaged than other. And there's definitely one of them. Hello, anyone in here? Pretty sure all the stores like connect to each other in the back. If I'm guessing not. Probably just some storage space. So the movie theater must be over here. It says Regal Cinema 20. Can't tell what that is. So, this was a barber shop. I'm going back in here now because I figured it out. Uh, but there's like a weird machine over here. Lots of broken tiles. What the hell? Um, what is that? Am I supposed to know what this is? That is like the weirdest machine thing. What would it have done? That is weird. Something came out of it. And there's like arrows going to these holes. Um, my guess is, I don't even know what to guess, actually. <laughs> I can't think of anything. Guys, help us figure out what this thing is. It's kind of weird. What's going on in the back side of it? Um... That's weird. Now we gotta find out how to get to this movie theater because we think we have to go back the way we came and go a weird way. I don't know. We're gonna go figure that out now. Cool, right? Yeah, it's weird. Key. What it goes to? I don't know. There's nothing in here to put it in, so maybe a register, cash register, a barber station, maybe, lock up your stuff. I don't know. 
It's just full of like insulation and stuff now, but it's something. We were just talking about how we think a lot of these middle vendory things, they've been moved from other pictures we've seen of the place. They were stored in those areas we walked past in the beginning. I think they uh, slowly were moving all the items, getting ready for demolition. So I think that's the case as to why there's less uh, of those things here. I wonder what that went to over there. So that was probably a department store. Probably the upstairs. Maybe. Yeah, the upstairs for that wouldn't have made sense though. Yeah. That goes to be Macy's or Penny's Yeah, yeah. Macy's. Yeah, maybe it was the other one. Alright guys, so we're going to go the way we came from and see if I can find our way to the movie theater. Let's go check it out. Yeah, maybe it's just been empty. So yeah, we can't figure out what this escalator went to, because that's right there. There's the movie theater. Yeah, that's the door we came in. Yeah. And then there's the J.C. Penny. The other side down there was a Sears, it looks like. So that helps answer our questions right there a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully this connects into the movie theater. Maybe the back of, like, GameStop and stuff, like, connect. See this thing? Yeah, yeah, that, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that should be our golden ticket there. Before GameStop out. <laughs> and that's why some malls still have two GameStops. Yeah. Like I love this center. I don't know. I was just about to say. Never seen one like this. So like small. Like the food section. Yeah. I like the circular, yeah, whatever they did. <laughs> That's the good stuff in the mall. <laughs> the Japanese or Chinese food. They only got Charlie's left Caribbean street food. Can't tell what these are. And Osaka. Yeah, I wonder what the other ones were. And a jewelry store on the other side, a furniture store. I wonder if it's a kiddery room. Yeah. It's gotta be one somewhere. <laughs> Buffet. Let me get the flashlight out so that we can see, because I know it's about to get dark, so... My trusty thing here. Notice, don't have guns. Back where we started. Now, we'll see if this connects. Found it. Found it. Gotta go through the back rooms to get to it, huh? Thank you very much. Ta-da! Wow. Yeah, it does smell. Probably just the moisture and the carpet and... Yeah, I don't know what that smell is, but it definitely isn't a good smell. 
I mean, the chairs are in good condition. Look, they're not that bad. They're really not. I just expected them to be worse. Yeah. Big screen. What's going on under it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can crawl. It goes nowhere. We're, on, we're moving on to the main section of the movie theater, which is out back this way. I wonder how many screens they have. Being that this one's so small, probably not many. Let's see. Okay. A lot of little dark hallways in this place. Look at a wall. Wow, it's pretty dark. Oh, they had a few screens. Wow. I underestimated this place. Well, I have my light. I just don't have it on, but it's dark. Auditorium number 12. How many do you have in here? Wow. I'm guessing they all look the same. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this one's really messed up. It's all ripped up. So maybe not. And some seats are missing. Maybe they sold some. Oh no, this is for uh, dis disabled people. They're spaced out. Oh. This is the bathroom. Let's check it out. Wow, it's so close to the theater. Oh wait, no. This is not a restroom. <laughs> Probably like maintenance like yeah. room. The way that it's like set up like that, yeah. it's probably this is insane. And some more theaters. That actually look like it leads into... Oh, never mind. That's the reflection. Cool seats. One cushion. This is cool. I like this. Wow. <laughs> now this is cool. Wow. I like it. I love the pattern on the floor. Like a ladder. Probably tools and stuff they use to demolish this place. Yeah, probably the items they need. They took out all the, the things up here. You can just kind of see the remnants of certain things. Unlimited movies all day, every day. So this was a regal cinema. Still got this soda machine. This is probably like the most coolest looking movie they ever been to. Yeah. I think this one, yeah, tops, yeah, tops yeah. the others in aesthetics. Yeah. That's few we missed out on, but we're getting to them slowly and slowly. Yeah. We actually got to this one on time. Uh, well, supposedly. Cut it close. Supposedly demo is starting on March. Yep. It is March. My thing's not working. March. Yeah. Sunday <laughs> the 5th. 5th. So, we didn't even know if we were going to get here and be able to go in. want toilet paper. But guys, look at this. It's sticking on my foot. <laughs> look at that. What a cool looking concession stand. This looks so vintage, retro, I don't even know. Vibrant. 
It just looks awesome. The colors are so cool, red, orange, yellow. Is this where you would have bought your tickets? The entrance was over here, or one of them. I think there's two, one on each side. You would... Yeah, this is the outside of the mall. You can see. So you'd walk in here, and you'd see this. <laughs> so sick. Oh yeah. We'll do a walkthrough and then we'll start doing our pictures because we need lots of stuff. That's crazy. <laughs> this is so cool, guys. This is probably my favorite part of this mall. Is this part. I mean, look at this. This looks like a Disney World setup right here with the, like the, the film things and... This sucks, these malls are going fast. Like Very fast. Yeah. Well, when we were kids, they were every, they were flourishing. Somebody left up oh, Panera Bread. People riding their tags, smoking some swishers. Imagine. Imagine soda came out of that right now. So this side is 15 through 20. They had so many theaters. Regal. It had really dark down there. It's going to just look like the other side we came in. What is this? Kettle cleaner? Um, oh, is that for like the popcorn? I think that's for the popcorn to like clean like the thing. I don't really know. What do you think? Kettle cleaner? Probably. The popcorn? Seems like it. Now, this side looks awesome too, but the other side has the box office things. This side doesn't. So it's just more of an open checkered board look. Still awesome. Escalator? Maybe. There's some random key. Huh. Love it. Really, really, really love it. What's this thing? For making tickets? I don't know. It doesn't want to stand. Oh. No, yeah, it doesn't want to stand on its own, but I'm assuming it's a ticket thing. And this showed your total or whatever. And then they probably put something in here. I don't know. Let's go behind a main desk. Got some stuff over here. That's cool. Mall secretary? That's funny. And these said void. Forward. It's a bunch of stuff. Thirteen, two. Another bench. Oh, the upstairs. Probably where the projectors are.
Yes. Now, this is one thing we both love about doing what we do. We get to see a lot of places regular regular people wouldn't be able to see. Yeah. No one would be able to walk back here unless they work in a movie theater. Exactly. So, we get a lot of people that appreciate our stuff, and then we get a lot of people that don't. So, you gotta appreciate this. We're showing you yeah. stuff you wouldn't be able to see. Yeah. Now, obviously, the projectors will be sitting right next to this window. I don't know what it is. This is probably like a DVD player or something. Yep. An old DVD player. And this is where the projector will be sitting. Right out this window, facing the screen. Also took all the machinery. Yeah, and sold it. Figuring out that they're gonna demo this place. This is creepy. Uh, it looks like some sort of railing down there, probably to go back downstairs. Yeah. So. It's like like a lot of other movie theaters we've been to. It's kind of like winding around. To yeah. Go, you know, on top of all the movie theaters, but it seems like they made it so that's just one strip. Yeah. And it's done. If you look at our other videos in movie theaters. And we got another one coming like, soon, yeah, or did. before this one. <laughs> Depending on when this is yeah. posted, we either have another one coming. Or it's already or, out. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be our third movie. It'll be our third movie th uh, theater video, and then this is gonna be a fourth. Yeah. Because it's tied in with the mall. Let's see so. if the phone works. No. <coughs> Imagine. What's in here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I miss going to the movies. We gotta go again. We gotta check if there's any. Home yeah. Home. Gotta check if there's any out right now. The last time we went, it was that Jeepers I know, Jeepers it was horrible. I was telling them that. It was really bad. It's because they filmed it during COVID and their budget was pretty small. Yeah. Looks yeah. like they got the costume from Party City. the power. They're all off. We should turn them on, right? <laughs> what is that thing? Is that a car? Is that like a golf cart? Oh man, I'm driving that. Yes. Oh. Boom. There you are. No key. Oh man, security room. Look at it, security. Why <laughs> tell it? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look, what is this? There's a school ID. <laughs> look, there's like pictures of people. In Dumb dad. Oh. This individual is wanted for a felony warrant he has stolen from Bath Vision Works and Lens Crafters. Oh my god. Individual wild. is said to wear the same hat. <laughs> there's oh, credit wow. cards and everything. Okay. Where's their uniforms? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. This is their uniforms. Does it have patches that say the mall's name? What does it say security? It doesn't say anything. They had wax security. I wish I had like a patch of the mall's name I on it. I have a bike helmet too. Oh my god. On bikes, like... Probably that white shirt. Right, does it have anything on it? No. Yeah. So they just wore regular stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Want to dress like a security officer? The hat and stuff. I mean the the bike helmet. <laughs> Give me a bat and I'll have one too. <laughs> That's funny. Those their locker rooms. See all their names on the. Take a look at those credit cards. Pittman. 
I'm gonna have to blur that out, but that's a cool wallet. Look, Hogwarts. Star Wars. I said Star Wars. Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, look at all these credit cards. That's insane. Security files. And their little security boots. Police line. <laughs> now, wow, they have this. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of it. This is actually cool for pictures. What is this thing? What does this do? I don't get what this thing does. It says, Paternal Order of Police. Got like a holster thingy. Ooh. Unknown Substance Investigation Kit. I like it. This computer is really, really old. Kind of nasty. I like that though, that's cool. What's in here? Sunglasses. Huh. Papers? Is this like, what is it? Vehicle body damage inspection report? So is this like people that got their cars hit in the Parking lot? I don't... I don't know. Security files. So I guess it's just a bunch of random ones? Vehicle, vehicle inspections? What the hell? Okay, I'm finding some stuff in here. Right, there's like a guy. <laughs> Jason, Best Buy. Ban? Content Supervisor? ASAP. Oh, well he's wanted. Is there more pictures like that in here? Oh look, there's like so much weird stuff. Look, this weapon was found in a shoplifter. On a shoplifter, it is an actual working gun. Be aware what a person has on them. How is this a working gun? It's a stick. Okay, viewers. <laughs> Help us out here. Uh, says, yeah, that it was a handmade zip guns located in suspect's bag. And it, they were a suspect of burglary shoplifting arrested at the Glendale Gall Galleria in Glendale, California. We went, we almost did that spot. Wow. They're say, they think the suspect is selling them on the street for $100. Now I gotta look for more. There's all sorts of stuff. There's like a whole thing. Like, look, this is like a bomb and somebody's like, like, like in their baby carriage. What? Suspicious mail or packages. How to respond when blah 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 blah. That's cool. Those are probably the coolest finds, these ones right here. That is crazy. I'm so glad we found the security office. This is awesome. I'm surprised everything was still in here. Once I saw that board on the door, I'm like, eh, nothing's gonna be in here. But then I looked inside and was like, damn. It's another picture of that guy. This one says, jewelry store theft. And, let me see, I'm trying to read it real quick. Um, they selected $27,000 of jewelry 
and then that they would be back later the same day to pick it up and the suspect never returned and the, she, when she put things on display she realized that several men's and women's rings were missing and reviewing the surveillance footage the suspect is seen pocketed the missing rings you stole those man <laughs> oh my god yeah. the things that people do all sorts of sheets. You got maps up there that, I don't know, uh, CT, CCTV coverage areas. There's a department schedule. All the random things. I like a construction hall. Is this item some store? What is all that? Um, oh, I think it's like a respirator and like a hazmat kind of suit thing. This is gross in there. There's some old moldy like little milky cups. How cool, guys. Love this find. Cool radio, I think. Yeah, good radio. Awesome, man. Awesome. All right, guys. We're all done exploring this awesome mall. This was such a cool <laughs> find in the end. I didn't think we'd find a security office yeah. filled with stuff because everything else didn't really have too much of it. So that was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, of course. Make sure to check out all of our Instagrams. You guys. <laughs> Life with Brett. America and Decay. Of course. Make sure to check out our Instagrams, Oxidize93, RealZek, Herbax Vibes. Same thing on TikTok, Oxidize93, RealZek, and Herbax Vibes on Facebook. Make sure to subscribe and like if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next Explorer. <laughs> Got Paul Blart in the house. Also, Paul Blart here catching all the trespassers. It's my mom now. <laughs>